Welcome back to Dirty Pop, everyone, with me, Lance Bass, here on Sirius XM, LQ 108 and Cosmo 109. Join with me, my co-host for this show, Lindsay Shaw from Pretty Little Liars. Woohoo! Lindsay, the show's almost over. This is where oh. we get really sad. But the weekend's almost here. But you know what? The weekend is started. Officially, right? At the end of the show, that, that just means the weekend is officially started, right? Yeah, that's it's like right. a national right. holiday, nice. almost. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Dirty yep. Pop ends, weekend starts. Mm -hmm. Just going to go with that. I see that you're from Lincoln, Nebraska. Yes. You know I'm a Cornhusker. What? Yes, I am. Really? Yes, I am. No way. That's where I actually graduated high school from. No. University <laughs> of Nebraska. Wow. Corn that is Husker. Yes. Expl explain yourself on this. Well, that's where I went to school. All my professors came from University of Nebraska. When that's you were how... touring around the country. Right, so Justin and I graduated from uh, high school from there, and then I took some courses. I didn't graduate college from there, but... I did do my freshman year there. Sweet. Great. I haven't gone to college either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> so, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah. So Cornhouse. And, and when I went to school there, we were number one in the country, which for, was great. Oh, for, wow. For, a high, for a football. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. that heyday. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Not so uh, much anymore. And then another little fun thing I see that you're really into uh, nutrition for kids, especially at schools. Yes, absolutely. And I am too. I think it is one of the most. Uh, common things that we just don't talk about, and and, and these kids really are getting some crappy food at I, schools. I, and are you watching the uh, Oliver's uh, Revolution? Uh, food, food Revolution. Food, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not. But I should start that. Well, they tried doing a season where he went to, you know, here in, in Los Angeles to redo these schools' uh, curriculums, mm -hmm. and, and, and they did two seasons. They did one on the East Coast and one on the West, and mm -hmm. the show is great, and it's all on Hulu. You should check it out. Perfect. Food so Revolution. Good. Absolutely. But they couldn't get the backing of the school system. Oh wow! Of in course. Here. Yeah, here. In Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's you, been fighting really hard. Nu nutrition affects every part of our lives. Your mm -hmm. health. Uh, you know, 90% of disease is caused by what you're putting into your body. We got to start it young. How come we don't yeah. get that? It, it took me up until about a year ago to learn that you are what you eat and that literally you are Be what you eat. Because, you know, you grow up unconsciously. You're getting things right. for lunch. It's, it's mm -hmm. a habit by the time you have to break it as opposed to something you grow up, you know, uh, incorporating That's into so who you are. And, it, you know... Food and meat and dairy, they all get subsidized. So, yep. like, of course, it's not going to be. Sort what do you of... think when you see people like Honey Boo Boo uh, getting fed just the worst foods on, on television shows like that? I want chicken nuggets! <laughs> yeah, like fried, everything it's fried. Sad. You Manners. know, it, it's just, um, you know, a cycle repeating itself. Yeah. Uh, and, and we can't do that anymore. You know, the, we don't, we can't produce this food anymore. It's becoming genetically modified. We need to start the education process. Now. Yeah. And then they always say, well, it's just because it's too expensive. But I think that's a lame excuse. Yeah. You know, then the, we have to figure out how to get the prices down. Though. Absolutely. Yes. Um, Food, Inc. Prob Food Inc. is the movie that sort of um, right. really sparked my uh, interest in it. And uh, as long as we make it a policy, it's not going to be expensive. So we need to bring as much awareness to it as possible. Right. And when you and if you do have the choice and if you can afford it, you know, you need to be choosing options, you know, organic meat. Like, mm -hmm. right. um uh, you know, it's a responsibility to everybody. It affects right. our health and the planet. And the prices just have to go down because, you know, the single moms and, mm. you know. We got to fight yeah, for that. Mm. We, Do you want to have important. kids one day? Um, I have not actually thought about it. Really? Yeah, oh, I wow. would adopt a kid, I think. I, I, I mm -hmm. would, too. I want to have my own in and, and adopt, too. Yeah. Yeah. Giggles goes back and forth. I go back and forth all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I do, I don't. I do, I don't. All right, yeah. guys, let's give you your playlist again for this weekend. Uh, here we go. Number 10 was 50 Ways to Say Goodbye Train. Number 9, I Found You, The Wanted. Number 8, If I Didn't Know Better. Uh, number 7, Now is the Start, A Fine Frenzy. Number 6, Doom and Gloom, The Rolling Stones Song. Number 5, I Knew You Were Trouble, Taylor Swift. Number 4, I Can Only Imagine, David Guetta. Number 3, Catch My Breath, Kelly Clarkson. Number 2, Dance for You, Beyonce. I love saying yes. Beyonce. Brazilian oh, yeah. Uh, I want to thank you again, Lindsay Shaw, for joining me on this show. It was such a pleasure. Come back anytime. Oh, my I will. Friend. Uh, Drew Boo, again, thank you so much. Thank you so Giggles much. Del Campo, You're Paige welcome. the Page, thank you. Uh, Jake here, our engineer, Sam and Monica down in New York, are up in New York. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, we're going to leave you with our number one song on Dirty Pop. Again, don't drink and drive out there. Have an amazing weekend. Make it safe. Love one another. We're going to leave you with the number one song on Dirty Pop. This is All Time Low with Backseat Serenade. Have a good weekend, everyone. We'll see you next week. Woo! Bye! bye. bye. What?